हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल इंजीनियरिंग मैथमेटिक्स डीजे गणित फ्रॉम दिस लेक्चर ऑनवर्ड्स वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट पार्शियल ऑर्डरिंग रिलेशंस पार्शियल ऑर्डरिंग इज ए स्पेशल टाइप ऑफ रिलेशन विच सेटिस्फाइज सर्टेन प्रॉपर्टीज वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट रिलेशंस इन द प्ले लिस्ट ऑन रिलेशंस सो इफ यू हैव नॉट सीन दिस लेक्चर सीरीज ऑन रिलेशंस देन आई सजेस्ट यू टू वॉच all the lectures on relations and then go for this uh, new series on special type of relation which is called partial ordering relation and uh, we are going to discuss all the terminology related to partial ordering relation in this playlist in this lecture we will introduce what is partial ordering relation and we will see one or two examples of partial ordering relations so partial ordering relation is a special type of relation which is defined on a given set a suppose we have some set p then a relation defined on this set p that is suppose r is a subset of p cross p then r is called a relation on set p so this relation r on set p is called partial ordering if this relation satisfies three properties that three properties are reflexive antisymmetry and transitive if relation r on a set p is reflexive antisymmetric and transitive then r is called a partial ordering or partial order relation on the set capital p so remember this definition of partial ordering or partial order relation a relation r on a set p is called partial ordering or partial order relation partial order relation or another name is partial ordering if r is reflexive antisymmetric and transitive and we have particular notation for this particular relation partial order relation if r is a partial order relation on a set p then r is denoted by this less than or equal to symbol this is the notation for the partial ordering or partial order relation it is not less than or equal to which we are using to compare real numbers this less than or equal to is the notation for partial order relation on a given set p if we have partial order relation on a given set p then that set p together with that partial order relation is known as partially ordered set partially ordered set means we have partial order relation on a given set so we are using this ordered pair to denote partially ordered set or we can use this symbol also instead of writing p comma r we can write ordered pair p less than or equal to and partially ordered set can be written shortly as poset poset is the short form for partially ordered set if we have partial order relation on a given set p then given set together with partial order relation is called partially order set so this is the definition of partial ordering relation or partial order relation uh, they can ask you to write down the definition so you should write systematically a binary relation r on a set p is called a partial order relation or a partial ordering if relation r is reflexive antisymmetric and transitive partial order relation is denoted by this symbol and if less than or equal to is a partial ordering on a set p then the ordered pair p comma less than or equal to is called a partially ordered set or a poset we are considering one example or two examples the relation less than or equal to is a partial ordering on the set of real numbers uh, this relation less than or equal to is a partial ordering on the set of real numbers so we can write 
that relation less than or equal to uh, we know that this relation is defined as set of all those ordered pairs a b relation is defined on the set of real numbers r so this this belongs to r2 or r cross r and uh, relation is less than or equal to that is a is less than or equal to b so we have to show that this relation is a partially ordering or partial order relation on the set of real numbers so we have to check three properties uh, we have to prove that this relation is uh, reflexive anti symmetric and transitive now you can see on this side this is the notation for partial order relation and on this side here this is the uh, notation for less than or equal to instead of writing less than or equal to if we wish we can write r also no problem or we can use less than or equal to also so first we have to prove that this relation r is reflexive so we know that if we take any real number for any a in this set of real numbers we can say that it is clear that a is less than or equal to a this means ordered pair a comma a belongs to r for any real number a ordered pair a comma a belongs to r therefore relation r is reflexive for anti symmetry we have to prove that if ab belongs to r and ba belongs to r then a and b cannot be different so we consider uh, two real numbers say a and b for any ab belongs to r uh, suppose that if we have ordered pairs ab and ba both present in r then a and b must be equal so suppose we have ordered pair ab and ordered pair ba both are present in the relation then to prove anti symmetry we have to prove that a and b must be equal now ab belongs to r that means a is less than or equal to b and ba belongs to r means b less than or equal to a and this is possible if and only if a equal to b this proves that relation r is anti symmetric if a is less than or equal to b and b less than or equal to a then a and b must be equal therefore relation r is anti symmetric now we prove transitive property so for that uh, we have to consider three real numbers for any a b c in the set of real numbers here we have to assume that a is related to b and b related to c and we have to prove that a is related to c so suppose that ab is present in given relation and bc is also in given relation and if we have this type of situation then we must have a related to c if relation r is transitive now ab belongs to r implies a less than or equal to b bc belongs to r implies b less than or equal to c and from this we can write that a is less than or equal to c therefore uh, we can say that ordered pair ac is also present in given relation so what we have shown if we take any three real numbers abc and suppose we have a related to b and b related to c then we have shown that a is related to c this means relation r is transitive so what we have proved relation r is reflexive r is anti symmetric and relation r is transitive this shows that relation r is a partial ordering or partial order relation on the set of real numbers so this is very easy example of partial ordering relation and uh, we can write that from this uh, we can say that because relation 
r or less than or equal to is a partial ordering on the set of real numbers we can write that set of real numbers together with less than or equal to relation is a partially ordered set or r with less than or equal to relation is a partially ordered set you can check for greater than or equal to relation you can check that whether this relation is a partial ordering relation or not as a simple exercise and you can give me your answer in comment section greater than or equal to relation means ordered pair ab such that a greater than or equal to b so you have to check whether this relation is also a partial ordering relation on the set of real numbers or not